Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're doing some more RPG Maker project. I decided to record some more today. <coughs> I'm not sure when this video will be released, same for the one previous before this one. But I do have some wonderful news. I went ahead and ordered a headset with a microphone. It's about time I finally did that. So come this Sunday, it should be in along with a USB extender dock because I'm going to need more USB ports. I only have two up front and two in the back. So I figured I would just go ahead and buy that because I don't want to accidentally um plug it in to the back of the computer and then you know pull on the cord by accident and then break another headphone or you know headset that I just bought so you know <coughs> I figured I can just plug up the plug in the um USB dock in the back, set it on top of you know on top of the computer. <clears throat> this will make it a bit harder for the computer to breathe because there is a vent there, but it'll make it to where I can actually use the headset itself. So yeah, it'll be you know an upgrade, and it was not expensive you know at all the headset was like 35 bucks and then the USB dock or whatever you want to call it was on sale so I got the longest one possible which was four feet which I probably don't need one that's four feet but I went ahead and got it anyway and it was $15 on sale on Amazon so yeah I mean it still hurts the bank even though but it's better than paying like a hundred bucks for a headset or sixty bucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. The ones I have now, the Astros I have now, they're they're good, but they're not any. They're not a USB headset, and that's what I that's what I need is a USB one because my um my other ports on my my computer are um. It's either the ports or my headset are the, are the issue. <coughs> the 3.5 jacks. I don't know if it's those or my headset stuff. I think it's the headset because of the break in the actual microphone. But we'll see. So get rid of this for now. See, do I want to change anything in here? I do want to do this, actually. What in the frick did it just do? Hold on. Okay, this... I want to see if this fits. Hold on, I'm curious. I need to mute again. Hit apply. I want to do this actually because for some reason all that moved. I don't know why. It was weird. Yeah, so that was weird. When the hell did I click to make all of that just. What the frick? That's just so weird. Okay, so I want to just place a thing here randomly because I really don't care at this point. And then do. Um, options. 
no running for you. And if I do this, yep, it does not work. Perfect. I'll F for this, and then do this. Because I'm a douche and I have it turned off here. And this overrides that. Perfect. Perfection. And I want to do this. All right, save it. I need to actually do this so it actually saves because saving does not actually save because you can undo, which is stupid. <clears throat> so do we have anything else to do in? Fixed it. Is there anything else I need to do in the database? Hmm. I'm not going to mess with the terms because I don't want to mess anything up. If I can get rid of the touchy wire, I, I so would. But I'm not sure how to do that without coding JavaScript. <clears throat> Actually, I, I won. Um, hold on. Um, I need to see if that issue persists or not. Okay, yeah, I set the auto run. Okay, hold on. Um, We'll do this real quick. I want to see if that issue still persists or not. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I need to fix this. <coughs> I need to fix this. Yeah, I, I need to fix that big time. I don't want that in the game. But that will require um, going into JavaScript. Which I'm fine with doing that. One thing I wish that, uh, I don't know why it's not a thing anymore. VxAce has a built-in script editor. You can just press a button and the script editor opens up in a, in a, in a menu. Why can you not do that with these ones? You're using freaking JavaScript, not Ruby code. And you're... Like, JavaScript is a lot more stronger and capable of doing a hell of a lot more than Ruby code is. And for some dumb reason, they cannot implement a built-in window for us to code in, in the program itself. Like, seriously. Instead of having to download another freaking program or umpteen jillion programs, whatever, the one you actually like or whatever has a dumb update. And this completely bricks everything. Just have it all. Just have a button up here. Like, just. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you. Hold on. In case you're new. In case you are new to RPG Maker, I will show you what I mean right now. Reserving space on a freaking terabyte SSD. That's hilarious. I thought I was done with you, but I'm not.
<laughs> now I'm good. So yeah, built-in script editor right here. Why can't we have this? You have your Windows shop, your shop command, save file, equip status, all right here in the program itself. Why can't MZ have this? Why? And don't give me an excuse because, you know, oh, it's not powerful enough or whatever. This is Ruby code. Like one of the weakest codes out there as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's stronger than I think it is. But look how, look how basic it is compared to JavaScript. And if you dare tell me, oh, JavaScript can't do this. Explain what Ruby code is doing right now. If this simplistic code can do what it's doing right now and have a built-in script editor in the program, why can't they do it for MZ? Why have they not done it for both MV and MZ? And JavaScript is a lot more complex than this code is. I can even like I know I know how to find certain things on this code because I'm more used to it, and yet I can't code it. For window gold, I can literally come in here. Actually, it's not here. Uh, it would be game. No. Crap. Where was it? Been a while. It's been a while. Maybe it is under window gold. Hold on. Now oh, is it under game party? Yeah, here it is. Game party. I can set the amount of gold that you start with versus doing it as an event. Like I can do that. I can do you know other simple true and false. I can change the maximum amount of gold you can have. I can make it to where you only have nine gold. But when it comes to JavaScript, trying to find the same lines of code of code. Give me a shotgun so I can blow my brains out. Please. Please. <laughs> Wait, is it not stopped even though I closed it out? Hold on. Is it still running? Seriously? Seriously? Okay. Yeah, so I want to have fun trying to fix that little error. I'll have to reference both Ruby code, well, Ruby code in general, try to find what I need to do in that one and then try to find the correct millions of lines of code to fix that stupid glitch that they have not fixed yet since day one of the program's initiation back in the freaking 80s or whenever it first started <sighs> whatever it is what it is All right, so what else do we have to do in the database? Nothing here. I fixed this little text glitch or bug because, yeah. Actors are done for now. Um, classes are done for now. Skills are, I'll do those later. I don't care. Items are done for now. I'm going to make different ones that are usable out of battle for these ones I mean I, I say that but I might not who knows weapons armors those are later those are probably while I'm actually testing the game out for balancing reasons um, enemies are the same thing those are while I'm actually making or I'll, well I'll make them and then I'll actually play the game fully you guys won't see that though well maybe you will I don't know who knows we'll see Probably doubtful. 
test it, play through the game, fix things, rebalance it, or not. Or, so I say, unbalance things because you reasons. States, tr- um, animations are done for now. <sighs> I'm going to sneeze, holy crap. Okay, so tile sets, not going to add any more. Common events are during the actual eventing process. System 1 and 2, that's basically done itself. Like, well, sounds and whatnot, I'll have to do. I can actually now do sounds whenever I get my new um, headphones. Nice. Awesome. Um, I guess I could change the font size or the font, but I have no idea how to do that because I would change it to um, Times New Roman or something. I don't mind what I have now, but I would change it to something that I actually want versus what what is in there. But I have no idea how to do that. I've looked into how uh, voice track. I've looked into how to do that when the program first started. I tried doing it. And it didn't work. So, you're going to have to suffer with the font. If you don't like Verdana, Sans Serif, kiss my butt, I don't care. And when I say kiss my butt, kiss my butt after I take a big shit. Because I don't care. I ain't going through a nightmare of trying to change the font based on the proper instructions. And it doesn't work. And I mean proper instructions from the actual RPG Maker web website. I thought I actually followed one of their guides before on how to do an event, and it didn't work. So I don't trust them at all. I'm sorry, I really don't. They forgot one one key. They forgot like one or two steps to make the event work. I followed it to the T, and the event did not work. So, I don't trust them at all because of that. Because of this and the event. <clears throat> so, all this is done. I might go through and change all this too. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so all that's done. Enemies are, are, are in. These two maps are done. That one's done. Um, oh yeah, I need to make a... A comment here. Fix the bug. Where... Pressing and... Holding action button allows to speed up. This is not an idea. This is a requirement. Uh, 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 no, hold on. This is Biden. Day one. Okay, and then we'll save this, turn off caps lock, save it. I can still undo it, it was just freaking stupid, but no, I cannot. Dear developers, 
Fix your fucking shit, please. Just give up on making RPG Maker Unite because, well, Unity. We all know that chestnut. Just scrap it. Because who cares? Unity is one of the worst engines out there. Same for Creation Engine. Well, no, actually, Unity's wor worse than Creation Engine. And just, you know, scrap, scrap RPG Maker Unite and just focus on this one more. And just never make a new one ever again. Done. Okay. All that's good for now. Um, I guess we'll just draw more maps because whatever. I got no, I got no enough to show for um, the what is it like the um the behind the scenes stuff for now. So I guess I'll just try to finish drawing this out. So yeah, let's just get to it. I've been working. I've been working on this map alone for a month or almost a month. And I want to get it done. I really do. Because the next map, next map I do is going to be. It's going to enter into the um. Oh, hang on. Do I want it to do that or do I want it to? Hold on. I have an idea. I just thought of this too. I can have this go into a sewers. Same size map as well, because you know I want it to replicate open world, even though it's not. Do I have super tiles? Do I have, I, mean, I have water so I can, I don't have, no I do, yeah I know, I do have canal and waterfall. So this, hold on, um, Whoops, not that one, hold on. Um, you yeah, know, that might work. But I kind of want a different color. And it's not going to work. Hmm. I mean, this could work, but I was hoping I could make the water like brownish or something, but I can't. Oh well, it'll, it'll, it'll still work for us sewers. Is there anything in here that I can maybe, maybe use? Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I won't do that. I don't really have much to, to use for a sewer map. First alert, Chief Meteorologist Ron Hurst. A new station alert has arrived for your area. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I've really looked at the radar and I'm, and I'm clear. There's no rain in my area. Not until tomorrow. And honestly, if I get taken by a spinny thing, I don't give a crap. I could care less, honestly. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. That's all there is to it. So let's zoom in here some and let's try to finish 
drawing out all of these rooms. I also need to make um, openings for these rooms too, which I'll get to it. <coughs> all right, so where? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do up here next. <coughs> Now before I start doing this, if you have any suggestions that you want to see me try to put in my game that does not involve JavaScript, because again, I I don't I don't know how to code. I'm sorry, I just don't know how to code. So if you're here hoping that I will code. <laughs> You, you won't see that. <laughs> you won't see that. Like, you won't see, like, in-depth detail coding. You will only see, like, true-false changes or me changing numbers. It's just all I know how to do. So, yeah. Now, if I knew how to code, and if there was anything that I actually wanted to add in... Myself, I would do that, but there's not, so I'm perfectly fine with making a game without coding. So, because in the old days, before coding was added to RPG Maker, you had to make everything without it. You had to make everything with the events. You had to think outside the box. And do what you could to make your your idea that back then required coding and make it work in an event. So I would rather stick to the old days versus the more complex crap that they have now for people who are more advanced and know how to code. And I've tried learning how to code, and no thanks. I get a headache. Alright, so I want to go up, like, to here, maybe? I gotta learn how to lean forward, too. Damn it. It's gonna be hard not to do that, because of reasons. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
going this way some. Back up a little bit more, not right there, like right here, because I need room for the bottom. If you're wondering why I'm drawing the top part first, you'll see. I I started out first doing this by drawing by drawing the bottom of of the rooms first, and that was a mistake. I had to change some things just for it to fit. So I learned by my, by my mistakes, and I hope that you guys will also learn if you guys decide to use RPG Maker as well. Because honestly, I mean, there are better alternatives, I agree, like Unreal Engine or, well, I don't know what else there is, honestly. I guess Source Engine, I don't know. I don't know how good it is. I really don't. I know there's a new version of it. And I'm not quite sure how good that is. I've never, I've never really, you know, dove, dove into other game engines. I've used Unreal briefly on a computer that <laughs> I was told was good for gaming, but it was not. It didn't even have a GPU in it, so. I didn't know at the time I was I was dumb back then. So yeah. <laughs> so it could run Star Trek online pretty well. <laughs> back in the day whenever I played I played that game in God <laughs> Years. And no, I will not play that game. I don't want to start another MMORPG on my channel. I'm already playing RuneScape and playing a single player run of Fallout 76, paying monthly for that because the whole online route with open PvP, uh uh. I don't condone that shit. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't condone BV, PvP. I don't, no, I'm good. I'll pass. I will pass on that ass. Don't get me wrong though, Fallout 76 is a decent game. Now, it is. If they rehashed it and made it single player, oh, it'd be even better. Now, if they rehashed it, charge $250 for a single player game, then fuck Bethesda. <laughs> yeah, I heard about the um Tarkov stuff. <laughs> Those devs are freaking stupid. <laughs> Those developers are freaking morons. Oh, I know why. Cause they're Russian. That's why they need money for um the war that is um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why they're doing it. It's for the war. Yeah, so all this can go over to here, and that's good. And this is closed off now. Okay, so that is done. This all goes, like I said, down into here. So that's one big room. Perfect, okay. Now to do the bottom part. And to make it look more, th I guess, 3D-ish? I don't know what the correct term is. Two and a half D, uh, I, I don't know. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, my neighbor has like 20 freaking cats. Oh, he oh, yes, he does. 21 cats. And I see four of them right now outside. So imagine the ammonia smell in an apartment with 21 cats. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I live. And he thinks he can get away with it because his family has money. Crap.
And when I mean money, I mean like, well, if you've ever been to Vegas and you've seen the shows, that kind of money. I don't mean like doctor or lawyer. I mean, they're a famous family where I live. And yeah. So because of that, he thinks he can do whatever the fuck he wants. That and he's from Russia too, so you know, I don't trust him. <laughs> I think he's a. I think he's a. Um, personally, I think he's a freaking you know what. But I got no proof, so I ain't got no proof to say he is. The way he acts sometimes. Oh my god, I've seen my. I've seen that that guy literally take. A taser to his bare nuts and say, Ooh, that tickles. I'm not kidding either. And he was fine. It's like, How can you do that to yourself and not be on the floor in tears? And it was a taser that was big and buy from the store. So, surely it was strong enough to make a grown man cry and in tears. Or, you know, feel pain. But he took it to his bare nuts and just like, oh, that tickles. Yeah. That's what I deal with where I live. <laughs> My neighborhood is full of crazies. All because we're disabled. <laughs> and it's a blast. Yeah, I kind of mirrored this. Cool. I wasn't even trying to. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go further over here. see where far do I want to go I can go back to the left or I can go back to the right I want to go back this way and then back up here mm-hmm <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to think of how I want to make this one look. You wouldn't think it'd be too difficult, but I mean, it's not, but I want it to look, you know, somewhat decent. And, you know, unique and not be, hopefully, a copy of a different one. But if it ends up being a copy, so be it. I mean, it, it's fine. It happens. <laughs> Hold on now. Hold on, no, 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 no. Eh. Actually, no. Oh. That kind of does look like. What I think it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it does. If you're wondering what I'm thinking about. Recently I played a, um. A wonderful spot on re-release of a Super Nintendo game. Called Top Gear. Well, or in this case, Top Racer. And I... Without even thinking about it, I drew one of the um, tracks. So, I guess I can have an Easter egg. Yeah, I guess this can be an Easter egg. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look exact, but does it have to? No. But yeah, we got our first, I guess, official Easter egg. Hold on, let me... Hold on. Um, Is it the one I'm thinking of? Um... Denmark? No, it's Denmark. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, our first Easter egg. Hell yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but honestly, who cares? I could try to modify it to where it looks better. But, it's our first little Easter egg. I want to take it. Yeah. We got our first official Easter egg. I'm happy with this. Yeah, I like it. We're keeping it. And I wasn't even trying either. It was just hysterical. And if you've not played the re-release of Top Gear slash Top Racer, do it. I recommend it. I've not played the second one or third one, and I refuse to. I've seen gameplay for them. And that is why. <laughs> and I'm like, um, no, that's not, no, uh, no. Graphically, they're worse than the first one. I'm saying it now. Graphically, they're worse than the first one. The crashing mechanics are worse than the first one. I'm saying it now. In one of them, you have car upgrades. No, thank you. If I want to have car upgrades, I'll play freaking Forza Motorsport. Or GTA or, or um, Fast and Furious. Yeah, no. <clears throat> not to mention the music is worse. Because of what I'm, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying because of the artist. It's the same artist. But the music, like, it's like whatever the developers did to the music when they put it in the game, it makes it sound like crap. Compared to the first one, beautiful score. Everything's gorgeous for the game. Graphics, gameplay, music, beautiful. But the second and third one, Everything just goes downhill. I don't know why. Like it's, like, it's like the developers lost their passion. It's kind of like with RPG makers. Like, they lose their passion. They add features and they take out important features. It's like, no. And, and it's sad knowing this. Heck, I went as far as to ask the developers of the remake or re-release if they can put in the races from Top Gear 2 and 3 in the Top Gear 1. But they said no. Well, they, they didn't really say no. They said that would be a lot of that would be a lot of work. And I said and I I didn't reply back, but I, I get it, but I want them to. <laughs> I want them to. They told me they told me to play the second one and third one, and that I wouldn't enjoy it. And I was like, I won't enjoy them. I've seen gameplay for them. <laughs> I've played Horizon Chase Turbo, that was inspired by those two games. Or, yeah, I won't enjoy them. <laughs> And Horizon Chase Trouble was, it's a decent game, 
but they got to get rid of the coins. <laughs> get rid of the pickups, please. Make it, make it to where the enemies cannot use Nitrous at all. Because if you're going to have a game inspired by Top Gear or Top Racer, the enemies in that or the AI in that does not use Nitrous. Top Gear does not have items you pick up. Once you're out of Nitrous, you're out of Nitrous. In order to get fuel, you have to go in to a pit stop. There are no items to pick up for fuel. I don't like that. I don't like how you how how there are coins spread across the the, the tracks. Like get rid of all that shit. And it'll be a perfect game. In my opinion. Get rid of the car upgrades too. The car upgrades are yeah. I mean they're free. You you earn them as you play the game, sure, that's fine. But get rid of those two, like they don't benefit you any at all. Because not only do you get the upgrades, but so does the AI. So it does not benefit you at all. And this makes the game harder. That's all it is. Like, it, it doesn't benefit you whatsoever, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No, I'm, no I have beaten Horizon Chase Turbo. They're making a sequel, which is nice. And I think it's already out as well on the Switch and maybe consoles, which I don't count Switch as a console. And if you're a Switch, if you use a Switch and I just pissed you off, bite me. I don't freaking care. The Switch is not a console. I'm sorry. It is a piece of fucking garbage. Nintendo knows this and they don't care. <laughs> The GameCube is better than the fucking Switch. I'm sorry. It had better Pokemon games on it. It had better Fire Emblem games on it. I'm saying that now. And if you did not know that the GameCube had Pokemon on it, play those games right now. I'm just saying, play them right now. Go and download those games as an emulator slash ROM. Trust me. Oh, and by the way, Infinite Pokeball Cheat works for Master Ball as well, but only in the first game. Hi, little boy. How are you doing? My cat's awake. <laughs> so my cat is now awake, and he might jump up on my desk. So, yeah. He normally does around around this time. We'll see, though. He's currently eating food, which is good. If you're a younger person and you've only played the newer Pokemon games, I'm sorry. Those ones suck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have been exposed to um, complete and utter trash. Go play some good ones. Like, go play, um, well... Go play um, Pokemon Crystal version, and go play Pokemon Emerald, and go play Pokemon Coliseum, and then Coliseum sequel, Gale of Darkness, and then just stop right there. No more. Just stop right there, because that's where Pokemon died. At, at, with, with Pokemon Down and Pearl, that's where Pokemon died. It was right there. And it's been dead ever since. And just a, you know, just a friendly heads up. Pick 
Torchic when you play Emerald. You will see why at level 64. Or was it 59? I forgot. You know, now you're thinking, well, why, why Torchic? Birds are a bitch, that's why. Sure, you might be weak to birds. But you got a little ha handy uppercut to deal with those little fuckers. And yes, it works when they use the move fly as well. And if they got rid of that move for, for, my, for my boy, they're freaking idiots, I'm sorry. They're freaking idiots. Oh, you won't have to deal with fairy types. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Fuck that crap, dude. When they added fairy type, I was done. I was like, Eevee's a fairy type now? <laughs> no. Nah. 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 Dragons are weak to fairies? What? <laughs> bullshit. Dragons are weak to ice and dragons only. What is this bullshit? Yeah. Let's just say I was, um, I quit. I was done. I was done with that shit. Dark and psychic are weak to fairies? <laughs> no, I quit. I'm done. Dark is weak to bug and fighting and that's it. Psychic is weak to bug and dark. That's it. Not this freaking fairy gayness. And no, I don't mean... You know what I mean. Like I said, they have ruined Pokemon. And it's quite obvious whenever they start making, you know, ice cream cones, keychains, chandeliers, um, Rotom. <laughs> it's freaking obvious. Like, they're out of ideas. Then they start making these um, mega evolutions, these Gigantamax bullshit and now these terror crystal things yeah I know they're taking they've actually admitted to taking ideas from us that tells you that they're out of ideas <laughs> and it's freaking sad too <clears throat> now I will admit I'm glad that they got rid of um, where you had to take Pokemon to a breeder to breed them. You can now do it on your own. I'm glad. Like, thank God for that. You can, you can also now access your Pokemon bank from anywhere. Thank fucking God for that too. Like, but the fact that they got rid of HM slaves... I mean, I'm glad, but I don't want I, I don't want to have to use a certain Pokemon that is not even mine to use all the HMs. I want to actually earn all that stuff. And in the newer one, you're given the legendary Pokemon at the beginning of the game. But you can't use it until you beat the game. So basically, you you catch a legendary Pokemon without having to battle it. Nah, I would rather battle it and use a fucking Master Ball on that bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would rather use a Master Ball on that shit. Versus, oh, here you go. Here's your free motorcycle. Again, they're out of ideas. The whole open world shit has to go. Go back to linear. Go back to the old school graphics and linear. Please. Like, just, yes. 
go back to generation three graphics and linear gameplay. None of this open world shit. It does not work. I'm sorry. And right now I'm pissing all of the Pokemon fans off. I'm gonna lose subscribers, but you know what? I don't fucking care. I'm stating the obvious. Pokemon is dead. And it's been dead since Generation 4. Don't get me started on freaking Yu-Gi-Oh. Good God. May the creator rest in peace, however. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Honestly, what I wouldn't mind seeing from Pokemon. Take Elder Scrolls Online idea. Great idea. You give us, you know, Skyrim. Well, not all of it yet, of course. Unfortunately. So you take Skyrim. You take all the other, like, Merlin, Oblivion, Daggerfall. All those regions. You put them all into one game. Then you expand upon it. You give us regions that we've not been to yet. Take that same idea for Pokemon. Put all of the regions in one game. 60 bucks. Single player game. And then any new regions you want to release. DLC. Slap it in that same game. 30 buck DLC. I'll freaking play that. But put it on more than just your own platform. Put it on Xbox, PS4, PS5, PC. I'll fucking play that shit. Let us choose where we want to start at. What starters we want. No matter where we start at. Male and female genders only. None of this training transvestite. Or whatever the freak you want to call it. Crap. No freaking cosmetics for our characters. Or at all. Because honestly, who cares about how your, your playable character looks when you're playing a fucking game? If it's not armor that protects you in battle... What's the fucking point? Like, if it's not armor that actually benefits you in battle, there's no point in cosmetics. Armor is the only cosmetic you need because it actually benefits you. If it gives you a defensive value and it also works as a cosmetic on the side, it's all you need. Having these useless pieces of shit cosmetics just to make extra money on the side is fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I'll say it now. It's fucking stupid. Stop. You make more than enough money from sales for the game. You don't need fucking cosmetics in your games. DLCs are fine. But fucking cosmetics have to fucking stop. I'm sorry. Same for the gambling. I don't mind gambling in Pokemon games. Because it's not actual real money. You're spending your money that you earned in the game. But Call of Duty gambling for cosmetics... Or Fortnite gambling for, again, cosmetics. It has to fucking go. I'm sorry. Those cosmetics do nothing for you. 
battle passes have to go. Because they're, again, a form of gambling. You're spending 10, 20 bucks to unlock a bunch of cosmetics and stuff to help you progress in the game that you can earn as you play the fucking game. Henceforth, it's gambling. It has to fucking go. I mean, shit, releasing games in unfinished states has to stop, too. It really does. Like, I am very disappointed in the video game industry right now. Especially AAA studios. They have just... Yeah, no. <laughs> it's why I wait for sales. <laughs> you know, we got people who still buy... Those shit games at full price day one and then they get pissed. And here I am just laughing my ass off. Be like, that's why you don't buy games day one. You waited for four years. You wait for a 75% a off for better sale four years down the road. You wait until everyone's done playing the game. And all the bugs are fixed four years down the road. It's also one reason why I'm making my own game. To see if people will enjoy it or not. To see how good of a job I can do compared to these so-called triple A studios. Which I don't think they're triple A anymore. I think they're freaking <laughs> I think I think I think they're freaking like quadruple F studios now. Or or lower, like quadruple Z studios. And that's way down at the very bottom of the freaking list. It's indie studios that are better than they are now, and it's and it's and it shows. Indies care. They're not money hungry, which is amazing. Now, if I want to be a complete dick, I could put cosmetics or other useless shit in my game that you don't even need. Would it benefit you? No. It would just be, oh, because I'm a greedy bitch. But I'm not going to do that to you guys. I know better. You guys wouldn't buy my game then. Or I could put in like a buy me some coffee DLC or whatever. I'm not going to do it either. If I want coffee, I can get my own damn coffee. <sighs> Buy me a sandwich for five bucks. Buy me a pizza for thirty dollars. And I just gave EA Studios an idea. Fuck. You know what I mean? This one, yeah. This one big giant room. Yeah, why not? It doesn't hurt, honestly. Who cares? I know I'm cussing out this video, but what else am I going to talk about besides, you know, how bad video games are compared to indies or, you know, how how corrupt 
the government is, which we all know the government is corrupt. Come on now. How toxic our food is in America. Oh, wait, they don't want us to know that one. That's why we're getting rid of TikTok. <laughs> Too late now, America. Everyone knows. <laughs> it's not because TikTok's owned by China. It's because, oh, shit, they know our, that we poisoned our food. Whoopsie. We better get rid of TikTok. They're learning our secrets. We don't want them to know our secrets. We don't want them to know that our food's the reason why they all have cancer. Whoopsie. Yeah, one big room right there, and then. All right. All right, enough ranting and raving about, you know, all this nonsense. I want to go ahead and just put a stop here. So, I may or may not do more tonight. Who knows? And I will more than likely record this tomorrow if I'm not busy. We'll see. And I'm sorry for all the, you know, ranting and raving, but, you know, I wanted to get a few points across. But anyways, have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys later.